Today, I'm gonna go over how I made this knuckle torta. We're gonna make a knuckle sandwich. Knuckle sandwich. For the knuckle sandwich, we're going to be using Bend over, Michael. beef knuckles. And we didn't realize that it was sliced, so. Oh, I see. It's fine, it's just gonna cook faster. Then onto the sauce. Started off with some sliced onions. The most important part of our sauce is the chile guajillo. So we wanna take the stem off and remove the seeds. So the chile guajillo needs to be reconstituted. I just heat it up on the stove top till it's nice, soft, and malleable like this. Once it's soft and malleable, we put it into a container, cover it with some hot water, and just let it sit. Then we toss in the garlic, all the spices that you see here, followed by our chile guajillo minus the water. And then I used rice vinegar and then a hefty amount of salt to taste. And then I used rice Ice oil or any neutral oil is good. Blend it up until smooth, until you have a beautiful, silky smooth sauce like this for your marinade. I seared off the meat on my flat top just to get some color on each side. Since it's already pre-sliced, I don't have to sear it off that long. Toss that into my Instapot with the sauce and a bay leaf. I'm just gonna add in my chicken stock to the blender so I can get the rest of that marinade poured on out. And then it goes into the pressure cook for about 30 minutes. Start. If this meat was um, a little thicker, unsliced, I would probably do it for an hour or so just to get it nice and tender. After 40 minutes, it's finally done. We pull it out, we know it's done because it's super tender, fork tender. We just go ahead and toss it into another container. We shred it apart with our forks or with your hands, whatever you wanna do. Make sure to set aside that broth. It's kind of like a beauty broth, but not. Set that aside, that's gonna be used for later with our sandwich. Now, we use bolillo bread, you can find it at your store. If not, go with like a hoagie or something like that. And then on the side, I went ahead and sprinkle on some shredded queso Oaxaca. I let that toast on the side, and then I put the bolillo bread right on top of that cheese. Once the cheesy crust gets a nice color, we flip our bolillo bread, top it with our meat, cilantro, and then some tapatillo crema that I made. It's literally just crema plus tapatillo mixed together. And then we close up our sandwich and call it a day. That's a torta. Knuckle torta. Okay, now remember that broth that you saved? Don't forget to dip it into that broth, also known as oh the consomme. Yeah. 